Is this the song you said sounds like Chemical Brothers? Yeah, yeah. I don't know that song, but I like this one. Yeah, that's good. Hold on, I'll show you something. Mm -hmm. After you mentioned um, Pulp Fiction, close that down, if I don't. I started thinking about background music, so I'll just have a listen like this. Yeah, I was just looking for something that was like um, spaghetti western. I was thinking like the Tarantino gangster in sometimes in the like the Kill Bill in the background yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, definitely. Something no, something like that. It is. It's good. It's nice. It's definitely work. You're gonna go and do your leg workout. Oh yeah, I better give that a go actually. I'm going to show you through some leg moves using body weight, also using some weights at home if you've got them. I've got some dumbbells, I've got some kettlebells. I'm going to show you through some stuff. Just come with me. Something else I'm using is a foam roller. You don't necessarily need one of these. The moves I'm going to show you through now, these squat variations can be done from standing completely upright. But I'm just going to show you through a variation using the foam roller where we can get the feet out a little bit further in front, engage more of the hamstrings, I'll just show you through. Those moves I just did there using the foam roller, I'll show you exactly how to do them using the dumbbells and kettlebell without going up against the wall. Kettlebell goblet squat. Dumbbells in the hand, do a dumbbell squat. A move I really like doing for the hamstrings is the Romanian deadlift. A little bit different to the deadlift and straight leg deadlift. Soft knees, 
hinging back, pushing the glutes back, loaded glutes and hamstrings really well, I'll talk you through. Using the dumbbells, keeping close to your shins on the way down. We're looking for that neutral, straight back position. When you're hinging, pushing the glutes back behind you. Keep those dumbbells close. Push back tight into the glutes and hamstrings. Load up really nice. If you're doing a move like a Romanian deadlift like I just showed you, and you're finding at home, you've not got quite enough weight, you've got enough stress on the fibers, and you've got a little bit of weight, or only body weight, you can do variations using single leg only. I'll show you through. If you've got really good balance, you can do one leg at a time, hinging back, loading up the hamstrings and glutes. What I find is, shooting this leg back behind you into the air, if you can actually do it, loading up this lead leg, and just use the toe touching, not weight bearing on your back leg, you can load up all the weight really sturdy on the front leg. Now I can feel that through the glutes and hamstring just as much as when I was using the dumbbells because now I'm putting my whole body weight through one leg. Now if you bring the dumbbells in, lead leg, rear leg just for balance, not weight bearing, push back, feeling all that weight through the front leg, we can work one leg at a time, you'll feel that. If you get it right, same move, same straight back, hinge your back, all the weight, body weight and dumbbells through his lead leg on the glutes and hamstring. That's gonna be a lot more challenging for those people that don't have enough weight doing both legs at the same time. Try one of those variations out. The next move I'm going to show you through is the kettlebell swing. Using the kettlebell, really good move for working the glutes and hamstrings. I'm going to talk you through how it's done. I see this performed wrongly a lot of the time, as if it's a squat, but it's actually a hip hinge movement. I'm going to show you as we go through this demonstration, okay? Just follow me. First thing we're going to do is we're going to reach down, we're going to grab that kettlebell, and we're going to hike it back before we initiate the move, okay? I'm going to talk you through how it's done. We're going to reach out, we're going to hike it back. We're going to be in this straight, neutral spine position as we hike it back. And then hamstrings and glutes contract tight, generating force forwards like so. And the arms are just levers. We don't lift out in front. Just a force driving forwards, elevates the kettlebell and it swings out in front, okay? Here we go, this is how it looks. So, not squatting, straight back, neutral spine position, drive forwards, which in turn brings the kettlebell up and out in front. And to show you that I'm not using my arms to lift, one arm at a time. we're doing is using our arms as a lever, we're generating all the force from our glutes and our hamstrings, hinge your back, snapping forwards. And that's how it's done. The last move I'm going to be going through and showing you on this lower body leg workout is the glute bridge. Obviously for working the glutes, the giveaways in the name. Now the thing is, you girls have been doing this, fine, crack on, keep going. But for you guys, but always show a little bit of reluctancy to do these in the gym, because you're afraid of, it might just be for the women, in the safety and security of your own home. You guys, this one's for you, okay? Join in.